All right, so in this problem, I have six to the power of x is equal to 60. So I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log six to the power of x is equal to log 60. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 6 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 6 is equal to log 60. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. So then these two cancel out, and now I get x is equal to log 60 over log 6. Now log 60, I can rewrite as log of 6 times 10. So I have this over log 6. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 10, this can equal log 6 plus log 10. And I have this over log 6. So now, this is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 10 over log 6. And log 6 and log 6, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So 1 plus 1 over log 6. And now log 6, I'm going to rewrite this as log of 2 times 3. So this is going to equal 1 plus 1 over log 2 plus log 3. So now log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301 plus log 3, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So if I add these two together, I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.7781. And now 1 divided by 0 0.7781, that's equal to 1.2852. So now 1 plus 1.2852 is 2.2852. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. So just at first glance from this problem, I can already tell that x is greater than y because we have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. And if x were less than y, then this would result in a negative number. But it, because it results in a positive number, we know that x is going to be greater than y. So this means that we can say that x is equal to y plus some constant k. So now, if I replace x with y plus k, I get 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, that's going to equal 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, I can factor out 2 to the power of y. So I have 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 2016. Now, I can rewrite 2016 as 32 times 63. And now notice that I have an even number times an odd number. And over here, I have an even number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and I have an odd number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be an odd number. 
So, meaning these two are equal to each other and these two are equal to each other. So I have two to the power of y is equal to 32 and two to the power of k minus one is equal to 64, or sorry. Two to the power of k minus one is equal to 63. So let's first start with two to the power of y equals 32. So we have two to the power of y is equal to 32 and 32, this is the same thing as two to the power of five. So I have two to the power of y is equal to two to the power of five, meaning y is equal to five. Now, for two to the power of k minus one equals 63, I'm gonna first start by adding one on both sides, so these two cancel out. So now I have two to the power of k is equal to 64. 64, that's the same thing as two to the power of six, meaning k is equal to six. Now remember, x is equal to y plus k, so x is equal to five plus six, meaning x equals 11. All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus four to the power of x is equal to 512. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start by factoring out four to the power of x. So now I have four to the power of x times one plus one plus one plus one is equal to 512. Now I'm going to rewrite 1 plus 1 plus 1 as 4. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 512. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out. And now I get 4 to the power of x is equal to Actually, instead of doing that, I'm actually going to multiply these two. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x plus 1, which is equal to 512. So now, I'm going to rewrite 512 as 2 to the power of 9. So I have 4 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And 4 here, I can rewrite as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x plus 1 it's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I distribute the 2, I get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is 2x plus 2, and n is 9. So now I have 2 x plus 2 is equal to 9. So to solve this, I can subtract 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. So I get 2 equal x equals 7. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 7 over 2. So now to check, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So 4 to the power of 7 over 2 this is 4 to the power of 7, the square root of 4 to the power of 7. So if I plug in this to a calculator, I get that the square root of 4 to the power of 7 is 128. So I have 128 plus 128 plus 128 plus 128, which is equal to 512. So this is right.